means that those that will start at a later stage, they will be now infectious to the other animals. The livestock so sector has suffered serious disease outbreaks in the country, and the Ministry of Fisheries and Livestock has cited the veterinary inland and border checkpoints as one of the critical facilities that could help curb the spread of animal diseases. To help support and streamline the animal disease control checkpoints, the Ministry came up with a capacity building workshop for staff manning these checkpoints. Trade associated uh, movements of animals, animal products, animal byproducts and uh, or articles and people remain the major factors contributing to the spread of animal diseases from one part of the country to another. An outbreak of a disease anywhere within the country results in loss of money. Loss of money for the government, loss of money for the traders and also for the farmers. It's an event that we really need to guard against so that uh, we all prosper. And looking at that, uh, my ministry has set, is planning to set up uh, some six permanent biosecurity checkpoints. Staff underwent a hands-on check at the Chirundu one-stop border point, where all players in the movement of animals and animal byproducts interacted with them. So we have people that are manning the inland borders, like the airports, uh, Lusaka, uh, Ndola and Livingston, they are here. And also the land borders, the Chirundu people, uh, Nakonde, Kasumbalesa. So it's part of information sharing to see how border operations and management is being done at the different borders and also to impart uh, new knowledge and information. The training would definitely go a long way in enhancing operations of veterinary checkpoints throughout the country. Mwasha Matutu Mwansa, reporting from Nais in Kafiwe.